My name's uh, Gordon Foote and I'm a client representative and uh, I operate uh, as opposed to mainstream sailing uh, actually in the offshore industry. So I work in the maritime disciplines across uh, oil and gas, offshore renewables and major environmental projects and I've spent uh, combined 35 years or over 35 years at sea now. Pre-COVID-19 uh, with my journey to Taiwan to join my project uh, was, was quite simple. I could book a flight, pretty much guaranteed that flight would run on time, that there would be seating capacity. I could then travel to the airport, enter Taiwan. It would usually take uh, about an hour to get through the airport and I would be issued with a 90 day visa on entry, being a UK passport holder. Uh, there was a variety of flights I could take up to four during the week. In early March, during the UK lockdown uh, and the Taiwanese government uh, further restrictions meant that my next uh, crew change involved not being able to take public transport. I was fortunate that I was nominated as a key worker. So from the police point of view, I was allowed to be on the road and to travel to work. In this instance, it involved getting a rental car and driving to London airport. Uh, the roads were empty and ghostly. From then on, uh, the whole flight experience was totally different. Firstly, uh, part of the London airport had been shut down for energy saving and uh, the lack of capacity. There's uh, at least four boards with hundreds and hundreds of flights that are, are rolling, indicating uh, the, the amount of air traffic ordinarily. Uh, when I joined the London airport, there was four boards there, but there was only four flights on it in total. All the time that you're in the airport, uh, you have a, a face covering. And uh, from then on, the boarding process was quite simple. Uh, but once on the aircraft, wearing a face uh, covering and gloves, of course, uh, and also finding out that there was no hot service. So the 13 hour flight was conducted uh, with cold snacks in a box only uh, with face covering and gloves on. Once uh, arriving at the airport, uh, what would ordinarily take about an hour to transit through the airport took about four hours. Um, this is accepted. Uh, they have very stringent uh, entry regimes, uh, both with temperature checks and uh, the CDC program, which means that uh, once you get a, a Taiwanese SIM card for your phone, they will then log with the CDC center and the police. Uh, you fill out a multitude of extra forms that you didn't have to fill out before. You collect your baggage, you pass through uh, the border control, collect your baggage, and then you found that there were quarantine taxis. This prevents you from using public transport, which is good, and there are serious fines for, non -con for contravening uh, those rules. So you log yourself in with a quarantine taxi that's going to your district and uh, have your case and your person sprayed down, enter the taxi, and they take you direct with no stops uh, to a quarantine uh, accommodation that you have. You have the choice of taking on uh, the local government immigration center type quarantine, or you can pay as an individual uh, to stay at one of the hotels that are allocated for quarantine purposes only. So there's no clients or guests there at all, only those that are quarantined. We're not joining there. Uh, you're then uh, taken directly to your room, the door closes and you have 14 days to spend there. The police do random checks uh, at the door, which is great. Uh, and your food is delivered to a little table outside uh, and a knock on the door. So you take your three meals a day, uh, whatever the cuisine may be. Um, and uh, your 14 days then commences. You have a, a temperature check and form, a personal temperature check to, to fill out. And I think the Taiwanese government were, were, were excellent with that uh, because they provided you with a thermo thermometer and uh, all their guidance that, that you require. And uh, at the end of your 14 days, uh, at, at midnight on the last day, uh, you are then released and you can then travel then uh, to your vessel.